What up, roomies? And we are back with another reaction. It's your boy the other day. And I'm Mike on the mic. And we're here about to check out Tower of God season two, which is actually season one because season one was a prequel. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, it was. It, it's it's season two, but like the whole season one was just prologue, super prologue. It was just, pro but like if you get a chance to download the Webtoon app, uh, by the way, Webtoon uh, endorse us. And See, we will gen generously whore ourselves out for you. Give us money. Uh, yeah. Tower of God, the, the, the webtoon, is incredibly good and incredibly long. Uh, definitely read that. It's uh, amazing. And I'm so happy they're making this into what sh is shaping up to be a really good anime. Yeah, it's really good. Um, really good. As far as like the animation style and the way the studios are doing it, I, I won't say it's the most flashiest animation, but it's but it's the, but it's the best uh, artistically. It's one of the more beautiful ones. It's quality, just through and through. I want to give it a solid nine out of ten, uh, maybe nine and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'll give it and, nine out of ten. And then when you combine that with like the soundtrack, um, and then following the storyline of the 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 webtoon. It, I mean, it, technically, it's a Korean anim, uh, manga, so it's called a manhwa. Manhwa. Manhwa, but like it's it's just good. It's everything about it is good. You can't go wrong. Yeah, um, you I really can't. The only thing that's disappointing is how long it takes to for shit to actually start getting heating up. Well, no, no, just the time between because it's, oh, between production, between production. Like it, it was a year ago when they released season one, wasn't it, or two yeah. years? But you also have to remember, um, Tower of God didn't get a following until well, if you weren't reading manhwas. Tower of God didn't get a big following until after the anime dropped. True. True. Like It wasn't like solo leveling that solo leveling like took off because of the manhwa. Solo and leveling had a bigger following than Tower of God, but only like super hardcore, um, only the super hardcore nerds who are already in like neck deep in the culture knew about it. Yeah. And then when they dropped it, a lot of people who were into anime uh, were like, what the fuck is this? And they were and like, oh my god, this is the shit. We, we knew about it, but like, the people who were like loosely attached to it, or like, even people who were like, who watched anime a lot, were just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Manga readers are more hardcore, not flashing any pride here. You don't have to be hardcore, hardcore, but like, you might miss out on some things that never get in anime, you know? That is true. And on top of that, you call all, your imagination. <clears throat> No lie always precedes how the best animation studios. The uh, the imagination, like that's why I always say the book is better because then you're gonna get me started on my Lord of the Rings rant. Don't do it. We're not gonna go there. But this this is doing a a genuinely good job of holding up to the uh, the manhwa, the webtoon, whatever yeah. you want to call it. It's doing a great job. And the 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 when you read a book or a webtoon or whatever a manga, uh, it doesn't come with a great soundtrack. Uh, you have to supply that on your own in your own imagination. And this uh, this is coming with a great sound. Like I listened to season one, uh, the opening theme and the closing theme. The, the the closing theme from Tower of God season one is beautiful. Um, that word is overused a lot of times, especially by uh, the, the fuckboy demographic. But this is just a great anime and whoever is producing tower of god keep doing your thing kudos you're doing a good job or, keep doing it just do it more and faster and harder wow and you're sounding like though like um a magna publisher right now manga Pub <laughs> no 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 like that's that's the problem you're sounding like people that make artists go sick <laughs> yo i am so glad that i'm not an editor because I would just be, like, pushing people to the breaking point of, like, psychological distress. I know you would, you fucking asshole. I am. I am very much a fucking asshole. And I oh. wear that title with pride. I know you do, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. But. Ed edit this part out. I'm not. <laughs> Leave it in. I am. Okay. But, but like, when I tell you something's good, I have, good. I have abnormally high standards for my anime. This has great quality content watch it tower of god and webtoon uh endorse us so i can like tell people how good your shit is that's a fact 
Because right now I'm reading like three webtoons. Did you watch Lore Olympus? No, I did not. Lore Olympus is a love story between Hades and Persephone. It's a little over dramatized, uh, but it's really, really good. And if you like romance, Lore Olympus, uh, Rachel Smith is an author from New Zealand. She wrote the fuck out of that shit. Uh, Rachel Smith, if you want to endorse us, uh, I will pimp your shit on this channel. Like, it's so good. Um, Hades is probably the only Greek god to be, like, loyal to his wife and have a stable marriage out of all of the Greek pantheon. And, like, it does, it's, a, it's like a dramatic telling of the story of how yeah. they met and stuff. But it's quality. It's just such good writing. The artwork, uh, it's not 1,000% consistent. Don't come for me, fan base. Don't come for me. It's good artwork. Lore Olympus. L-O-R-E space Olympus. It's it's a great story. Beautiful now, you, storytelling. Now, if you want some good lore, we're about to get into Tower of God. Yo, Tower of God is... Oof. Good money. Good Let's money. Let's jump into it. My nigga, bam! Fuck that bitch, Rachel. <coughs> All my homies hate Rachel. Yo, I hate Rachel, yo. I hate Rachel with such a passion. I cannot wait for when the story comes to get... Oh, my... Coon's revenge oh, on yeah. Rachel is going to be, be magnificent. sweeter than grade A maple syrup. Bro. Fun fact, Bam in Korean means knight. So his real name in like English, the translation would be knight. Knight he, His name is the 25th Bam. So in, like the English translation would be the 25th, 25th knight. knight. That's his name. Like it's savage, bro. But that's the name that he goes by. His real name is Viola. Ju... Ju... Ju Viola Grace. Grace. Not Amazing. Jew like that, Jew, but like J-U-E. It means some shit in Korean, I guess. I don't know. I'm not up to date with my Korean slang. And my nigga F-U-G. Gang gang. BTS Army, don't come for me. I'm sorry. You're part of the F-U-G gang out here, bro. Wow. What? That's the name of... Yeah, of, Fug, Fug, Fug. Yeah, I know, I know. Fug. fug. I don't want to say Fug. Fug sounds... Fug. Fug sounds ugh. Fug. Got those Fug boots. I'm part of the Fug Nation. Quariun, Quariun. You know what's crazy? This animation style reminds me a lot of um, Hell's Paradise. Jihad! Yuri Jihad. Yuri Jihad. Yo, Yuri is an absolute savage. She's... That is. You know her nickname? Wasn't the, is she the one wheeling Black March? Yeah. Who has Black March now? Wasn't it lost? No, she got both of them. She got both of them. She got Black March and Green Apple, right? She took it, she took it from uh, her sister's daughter, even though they're not allowed to have kids. Yeah. She took the black one and the green one. The Black March and the Green April. And yeah. she's just like, I'll give it back to you when you're old enough to have it. Because she didn't hate, she, she liked, she liked the, the lizard girl's uh, mother. Yeah, it wasn't, my dude Bam was able to wield both of them too. No, it just, it just shook. Wasn't he able to wield it because like his parents are like, we're a part of the, or one of the royal families and, and, and that's, shit? And that's one of the Coon sisters, but she has Ooh, yellow. Blue hair chick right here? Yeah, yeah, it's silver. Silver, silver hair, blue eyes is a mark of the Coon family. And Yuri is her, she's such a savage, she's known as the Imp of Jihad. Yo, she just don't give a fuck. She's too strong. That's it. Yep. Yuri is that. Yuri is that chick, bro. Yup. Wifey. Damn. Damn, Bam. Why couldn't you go for a strong sister like her, bro? Instead of fuck-ass Rachel, that bitch. Because Rachel's the first love. Yo, bro. Rachel's a love, fucking cunt. The first love. Roomies. I don't usually call people cunts, but she's a fucking cunt. Might want to censor that word. Fuck that. The Prince of Jihad, bro. The Prince of Jihad. Kill that. Look at Toby Twice. <laughs> so you know how they're different classes, right? Yeah. The the one she was talking to lying down, that was uh, the, the light keeper. Mm, so that wasn't one of the sisters. No, that was one of the sisters, but she was a different class than Yuri. Mm. Yuri is a fisherman who plays with swords and goes out and does like the, the swordsman shit, like the fisherman, like the, the one with the, the, oh, so this is the not, horn. Like yeah. the, the, she's the same class as the one with the horn and the, the lizard girl because they're both fishermen. They're, they're swords. Yeah. So Yuri's good with swords. But wasn't her, her mother like a kappa or some shit like that? Like, I remember them talking about it in season one, like what her mother was. Or no, what no, her no, 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 Princesses. Her mo she was using her mother's name. A but but, a, even lizard, if, but if her girl. mother but if her mother was a princess and she gave birth to her, wouldn't she also be considered a princess? She has the powers of a princess. But she does have the title. She has the powers, but she was borrowing the name and the title of her mother. So she's still a knock. She took the name a knock. 
but when the king of jihad names oh a oh he's just running up in people's babs yeah that's some sketchy shit where did he get a towel where did he get a towel you were just in your bath this is definitely a shakedown no definitely wait no you weren't supposed to touch me that and i didn't want to smoke Aha, him. but he did anyways all part of my plan wow i told you he was trying to take a kidney he's literally harvesting his organs because of the debt oh he reminds me of this guy from hunter x hunter oh uh, uh hisoka Yup, I feel like he was gonna go gone right now. Oh god! <coughs> the, the problem with Hisoka is that he's not actually attracted to children. He's attracted to anybody that can kill him. I got that. Or, or let me let me put it this a different way. Hisoka is attracted to anybody who can wound him or threaten his life. I got it, Mike. You don't gotta go into detail about his his it's a very sexual attraction. You don't gotta go into detail about his sexual that's, attraction. That's why he's attracted to the leader of the Phantom Troop. He's also attracted to that girl with the thread. Remember the pink oh, yeah. girl in the troop? He's attracted to her because he knows she can put up a fight. The author probably knew that character would cause controversy, which is why he came up with such a bizarre fetish. Oh god! He was attracted to the volleyball player in Greed Island. Oh god! Well, no, his name was um Razor. I know, but it was it was part of the joke. Oh, okay. Know how to kill it, Mike. Oh. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Well, no. You're out here, try, you're out here trying to ex explain this man's <laughs> fetish. I don't. Nobody, the roomies don't want to hear about Osoka's fetish right now. True. Listen, he's we, starting the test. He's starting the test. He's let's starting go the back test. to the test, bro. We're in tower. He's in the tower. He's clearly taking a test. And this, he's also being shaken down for money. This guy, roomies. This guy. It's an interesting character. He's an interesting character. Okay, 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 okay. We're in Tower of God. We're in the tower. Yeah. And he's got Pokeballs that explode. Yeah, he definitely has Pokeballs. I'm down with the Pokeballs. Ja Wang Nan. He's Ja Wang Nan. Oh, but there's... My dude, Bam. Bam. And that's a bad place to be, buddy. Looking like a pale-ass vampire. Yeah. He looked like he went, got a Twilight makeover. He's in his scene phase. Bro, that's a dope trench coat. It is. It's almost as dope as the Akatsuki. It's super Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Yo, they drew his eyes so pretty. Word. Bro, he's going through his emo phase. He's not going to talk to you. That's exactly what Kuhn did the first time they met. Remember when they first, when they, you know, Bam and Kuhn first met? Yeah. Kuhn walks up to him. Hey, you want to work together? Now, that's, that's exactly. Bro, if you're not a goth, he's not going to answer you, bro. If you're not part of the clique, he's not going to fuck with you, my guy. Yo, bro, the fact that this motherfucker is huge with a little ass <laughs> wing. My got a little ass light wing. <laughs> What's up with that? No, it's hilarious because he tries to run up on him. And then the next person after that is a little girl. And they're just like, nah, we're not going to jump a little girl. Nah, it's her mama. I think it's her sister or cousin or something. Yeah, I know, but yeah. oh, oh, here we go. My, little, my dude, Little Wing. Yo, my guy right here is trying to start a family. He's not wrong. But he's a dick about it. But he's acting tough for no reason. <laughs> bro, why you got to be a dick about it? Wow, you fucked up. Get that shit on my face, bro. Take that. Yo, Bam ain't playing with these niggas. I love how he counted the woman and the child. It'll be a massacre. Hey, he could turn his little wing into a little fist. That's pretty cool. That was cool. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, but my dude Bam right here, that training started to kick in. He can clearly fight. Oh, he can turn it into a little shoe. That's adorable. He can clearly fight. Uh, he can clearly fight, and he can clearly use his powers. Yep. He's fog. Oh, he can tank those. Okay, I get it. Ooh. Oh, he thought. You thought, bro. Bam. Done. Filthy. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't stand the chance. You're right. Stop running like a bitch, bro. You the one up in here talking mad shit. Done. That's the smart choice. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, Bam. Really? You thought he of that bitch? Caught him with the Pokeballs. Well, that's different. Did my man just pull off a Susano? He pulled off a stage one Susano. He definitely did. Ooh. Oh, he was coming in for the kill. Ooh. He was about to take his head off. You notice how he didn't go for the woman or the kid, right? No, he went for him first. He went for those three. The woman and the kid stayed down. He didn't go for them. Coon. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Fuck that bitch, Rachel. Yo, yo, leave it. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. I have to listen to that ending theme. That ending theme from season two is going to be fuck crack. That music is going to be so good. It is. I don't I haven't even listened to it yet. Your thoughts? Um, we've both read the we but we both know what happens next. Yeah, but, we do. But um, I love it. I love it. It's really, really, really good. Uh, um, just taking a story that. I enjoy reading and putting it into uh, animation 
and voicing the characters and putting everything to real life. The fight scenes aren't the greatest fight scenes I've ever seen, but like they're dramatic. They're good. They're really, really good. It's fun to watch. Like you seeing Bam just blast shotgun blast that dude. And and it's like, yeah, that happened. And then he pulls out the Susano and it's like did he just get... did he just use the fucking the what's it called? The the what is what's that energy shit they have? What in One Piece? No, in Tower of God, the what's the the, the blue shit, the um the energy force they have. Wave? No, the uh the... There's something with a S. Shin Shin Shinsu? Shinsu? I feel like that's from another anime. Uh, there's the the force, the like the the magic juice stuff that flows throughout the tower, and he like it transforms his blood into this exoskeleton around him, like because the Shinsu flows with his blood into it, and it's just like, wait, what is that around him? And it's like, yo, he uses Shinsu, what whatever it is. I'm thinking that's the word. Is it Shinsu? Yeah, Shinsu. 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 In oh, Tower right. of God, Shinsu is a substance that allows people to live in the tower and is a major force of the That's story. That's it. So he uses a Shinsu and it merges with his blood that he got while he was injured and he coughed up the blood and he was bleeding out of it and it merges with his blood and it creates this exoskeleton. Yeah, so he basically does a Susano. And it protects him while he regenerates and he literally uses the Shinsu to heal up his body, which is like impossible. But Bam can do literally anything, anything with Shinsu. He can transform. He can regenerate. He can create weapons. He can anything. He could basically use that shit as a Kamehameha. He's, a, he he's the so. god of the tower. Yeah, because he's a direct descendant of one of the original families. Right. Or if not the original family. He's, because he's, when people, the, he's the prince. Yeah, because his parents were the king and queen. Right. They were the first two up there. Right. So And then Jihad... King Jihad overtook his father because Jihad wanted his mom dukes. So, so when he does that shit, it's really cool to see how like you see the actual blood dripping out of his cuts. Yeah, true. Or like him coughing up the blood, and then you just see like the bloody exoskeleton, and it's just like that. That is fun to watch, it like is. in in like real time because they're staying true to the story, and that's why I really enjoy this. That this is fun for me. It is because. I know what's gonna happen if you read the book and then watch the movie. Like nobody watched tight or nobody watched um, Lord of the Rings, seeing oh I wonder how this is gonna end. It's like no, we know how it's gonna end. I did. I didn't read the books. All right, what's what's a book you read that became a movie? Not this, because you read this. Nothing. You've never read a book that was made into a movie, then you saw the movie. Nope. James and the Giant Peach. Don't remember the book. Oh my god. I don't read a lot of fiction, bro. You believe this guy can? I don't read a lot. If it's not comics or okay. Magna. Oh, uh, uh, what was one comic that was. All right. No, because they don't do comics directly into fucking movies. They make up their own fucking shit. Exactly. Oh my god. And my thoughts on this was. That the animation style is beautiful. I love how they're keeping true to the story. And I can't wait for Bam to start whipping more ass so, and get back with his homeboy, Coon, and the alligator guy. So this is going to be the first book, even though it's a graphic novel, manga, whatever, that you've seen that's going to be down the line true to the story. And solo leveling. Solo leveling. This is Those two, are they going to be the first? Oh, by the way, solo leveling, the new season drops tomorrow. Already? Yep. And with that being said, roomies, we'll see you on the next episode of Tower of God. Peace out.